Hey, this is Mike from Lorenzo Family Deals. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Walmart app. Uh, this way you can do some research before you go to Walmart to see what might be in stock and what the price might be. And also while you're in Walmart, I'm gonna show you guys how to scan the items just as they'll ring up at the register. This app is completely free. It's the walmart.com app. I don't recommend using any other apps. First thing I'm gonna do is download the Walmart app which is this app right here. It's completely free. So I picked this item up at Rainham, Massachusetts um, at their Walmart location. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'll start from the beginning just so you guys kinda remember the process. All right, so the first page is right here, shopwalmart.com. Then you wanna click the scanner, the barcode. All you do is put the barcode in front of the camera. And what's going to pop up is the price of $32.88. Now that's, if you look right here, the walmart.com is highlighted. You're always going to make sure you're at your store. Um, and you also want to line it up. So Rainham Paramount, that's correct. And the price is $13.15. And this price is going to ring up at the register. It's only happened to me twice that the price that shows right here did not ring up at the register. And all I did was I just said, hey, this is um, why I thought this was the price. I went on Walmart app. I scanned it. This is the price. If they give it to you, great. If not, no big deal. Because we're going to find so many good deals. It's not worth getting a bad reputation over. Um, if you're not in the right location, you just want to click change. You can put in the zip code right here, or you can just kind of scroll down and pick a different Walmart. So let's just say I'm in North Attleboro. So the price in North Attleboro is going to be $27.95. And I just want to double check it. I can just click that scanner in the top right. Scan the product. And this comes up a lot. It'll say, sorry, we couldn't read it. And that's just bad service, poor quality on the app, maybe. You just keep trying it. And I mean, it, sometimes it takes up to five tries to get the price to, to actually work. Again, it's on walmart.com. Make sure you're at your store. So it's $27.95, not a good deal. So like I said, don't trust what the app says. It's just a guide. Don't ever get focused on one particular item. Um, and say you're going to Walmart and be like, okay, I got to get the clocks. It says it's available. It says it's in stock. It says this is the price. Sometimes you go there um, and it might be in stock, but the price is ringing up different. I don't really have an answer for it. Um, yeah, it's frustrating, but that's why I don't really go um, and rely on these, these prices. Uh, honestly, normally I don't even do any research, uh, but it is good to, you know, if you're sitting home bored, you can always just kind of look through the app. I'm gonna show you guys how I do some research before I do go to Walmart. Um, and I probably only do it about 25% of the time. Um, the other time I just go in blind and I just start randomly scanning or I can kind of, you know, scope out the area and just by looking at where items are located, I can kind of figure out if it may or may not be um, on, hidden, on clearance, unmarked clearance. Um, yes, there are some paid sites you can use. I don't use them. Um, it's a good tool, it's a good guide. It's gonna send you on a lot, a lot of wild goose chases, um, but it's gonna find you some items as well. It's, it's your preference, I'm not gonna persuade you either way, but if you're trying to make money, why would you spend money to get this information when I'm gonna give it to you for free? Um, honestly, a lot of people on, on YouTube or TikTok or wherever, they're gonna give you this the information. Um, just watch the videos, and if you see like an item being posted, keep your eye, your, your eye peeled for that item. It's a good chance your Walmart's gonna have that item on clearance as well. It may or may not, but just keep in the back of your mind. So sometimes when I'm sitting home and the wife's yelling at me, I'll just kind of scroll through this app and see what could potentially be on unmarked clearance. So what you want to do is right up here, you want to type in, let's say, vacuums. Right here, you'll see vacuums, all departments, vacuums in home. You always want to make sure it's in all departments. Again, you want to make sure you're in the right location. I'll go to North Attleboro. It's at my store, North Attleboro. Good, good. 
And this is just a guide. It's not 100% accurate. Um, you can just kind of scroll through. Um, you'll see right here, check in store for price. If you actually click that, one of them is going to be $39.96. That's the lighter blue. The darker blue is going to be $44.84. And the gray, or rather the, sorry, the purple is going to be $39.96. And right here it says out of stock. Just, just ignore that. It's... You just don't know if it's there or not. Sometimes someone could do a return. Um, sometimes they could have messed up the inventory and it's it's sitting out on the floor or it could be sitting in the toy aisle. You just don't know. And you just want to scroll through, see if you can see any good deals, you know. Um, these right here, yeah, $69. That's a, that's a decent deal if you're buying it for yourself. So originally 119 um, mark down a 69. Let's type in something else that I kind of like to look for. So what I'll do is I will type in Pioneer Woman, all departments. Click on it and just start scrolling down. Just for time purposes, I'm not going to click on any more of those. Um, but right here, Pioneer Woman knife set, five bucks. Limited stock, it may or may not be there. It's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, don't go, you know, right to the knife aisle. When I go in, I go to the clearance first, then usually the baby section, toy section. I kind of have a routine that I walk around, and as I come to those areas, then I start to look for those specific items. These towels, $1.50, good deal. So what, the, what this is telling me is that a lot of Pioneer Women is on clearance right now. Um, these say they're in stock, in store only, and they're not. I mean, they might be out back, they might be somewhere else, but they're not in the pots and pans aisle because I've been there about five times looking for them and I just can't find them. Other things you can type in, just, you know, toys, and just start scrolling down. That's a dollar. And you guys kind of get the, the picture of it. Um, some items that do go, get marked down, you want to type in like ride on toys. So what this covers is those big cars. Ride on. Sorry, this is kind of awkward to type and try to read it through this. But once we found those mini mouse cars, um, I think they were originally like almost $300. We got them for $40 each, I believe. Uh, we got three of them. And I'm glad I only spent that because they were definitely were not worth $300. But you just scroll through. Um, luggage is another good one. We scored a bunch of suitcases from five to like twelve dollars um they go on clearance once a year they they want the old inventory out they want the new inventory in and it moves quick like if you hear of a deal you can't be like oh i'll just go later like you need to go right then to find it because there are 50 other people like me and you trying to find these deals yeah right here it says 1150 limited stock and these are just things you want to keep in the back of your mind. So when you're walking through those areas, you may or may not find them. Uh, strollers, baby things. But you always want to make sure you're in all departments. And what you can also do is, let's say, I don't know, let's find the product right here. So $45 for this. You can also scroll down, click on Options. And now you're gonna see the other areas. Um, and if the price is cheaper in one area, you may or may not wanna check that area out. But I hope this clears some things up for some of you guys. Um, and just makes it a little bit easier while you're in Walmart looking for these items. Um, I know some people used to say it's not working, but that's just because they're on walmart.com. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to leave me a comment, send me a message. I'll try to get back to you guys. Um, I really don't have much of a life other than hanging out with my kids and looking for good deals. Um, on a side note, so on my Lowe's video, you guys are bashing me about it being fake. I have nothing better to do. And not everyone, just a couple people. Some of the comments are hilarious. Some of you guys need to work on the trash. Um, I highly encourage a little banter back and forth. I'm not easily offended. You better stop! Um, so yeah, keep them up and, you know, let's just have some fun with it. It's, it's YouTube. It's, I'm not going to go, you know, cry myself to sleep because somebody says I'm living in mom's basement uh, making up fake price tags. If you guys could like my video, subscribe. For my next video, would you guys rather me go live while I'm in the store? Or would you rather me show you exactly where I look for the clearance, um, some tips and tricks to, that might help you find some while you're in the store? So just leave it in the comments, and I will read them and then post my next video after that.